Don't you mean their ghosts? Comet in orbit. Hey guys, my name's Garmani, and welcome back to Let's Play. It's more Galaxy. So, in the last episode, we had Nintendo Black Crisis over as we went and did things in Ghost of the Galaxy. And in this episode, mm -hmm. it's like a, on a game show. Like, it sounds like a game show sound effect. Anyway, uh, in this episode, we're going to be going back to Ghost of the Galaxy. Boulder guys, Daredevil run. So, uh, if you guys remember the if you guys remember the boss we did in the last episode, now we're going to be facing him with only one life. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, also, it's worth mentioning that I had a failed attempt at this, and also I'm having trouble talking today. And I know it's not a smart thing to record on, the, on days that you're having trouble talking, but uh, I kind of really need to record today, because I might not have the opportunity to for a long time. And I'll actually get into that and our reasons for saying that later. Uh, but for now... Boulder guys with only one life, and actually, um... Something that I should mention is, I actually, there's no evidence of it on the internet anymore, or at least I don't think there is. Um, oh, not too long ago, actually, Josh and I had a failed attempt of a Super Mario Galaxy Versus. And, um, this level caused me a lot of trouble when we, <laughs> in our Versus. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that that didn't work out, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, there's nothing really you can do about it. Uh, but yeah, this gave me a lot of trouble. Anyway, so now that we have this off, uh, we're able to hit this thing, and there you go. And it doesn't really get that hard. I mean, right now, I mean, that was pretty easy not to get hit. But once he has his two hands, it's a lot harder. And this is when doing this in the first attempt is actually pretty challenging. And uh, my failed attempt of recording this, I did not get in my first on my failed, on my, not failed. I did not get in my first attempt, unfortunately. Um, but I got on my second attempt, so hopefully I can do. A, fir a first attempt this time, because that'd be nice, or at least get this in my second, or get this at least on my second attempt. Oh crap, I threw those two together. Anyway, um, I guess I should talk about how my day is going. Uh, today is October 13th, Christopher Columbus Day. And I do not have school, ironically not for Christopher Columbus Day. That's not the reason why I don't have school. The reason why I don't have school today is because it's a teacher award today, and I just failed. Anyway, I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, today's a teacher work day, so the reason why I'm off from school, ironically, is not because of today being a holiday, an after holiday, it's because it's a teacher work day, because for some reason my state does not allow, we don't get, we don't get work and, um, well, I don't think anyone gets work off, but, I don't, but we don't get, uh, school off for Christopher Columbus Day in the state of South Carolina, or at least I don't believe we do, um, but we do have a teacher work day today, so it's a three-day weekend, it's Monday, so I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, it's actually, it was a really, I'm actually really glad about that because I've been really stressed out with school lately. Um, I recently just finished a paper that I had a three day notice on, which while well, everybody else had like a full week notice on this paper that was like that I had, that had to be written. I was out sick one day, uh, like we had a club meeting and I was out and I had no idea that I had to write a paper until a few days beforehand. And um, that paper actually required a lot of research and I, and it's actually pretty crazy uh, how, like, uh, like I, uh, how I got it done. Because the thing about it was, is, um, like, and the lot, I mean, I, I, I knew about it three days before it was due. Uh, I didn't have a chance to work on it until the day before, or the, rather the night before it was due. So I stayed up till 2.30 a.m. that night, went to bed, woke up, woke up a couple hours later, um, and, um, didn't quite finish it, but the paper wasn't due that day, it was due that afternoon. So like I emailed it to our club president and I got it done. Yeah. And actually I got quite there and I kinda yeah. finished off what I was saying because I thought I was gonna cut out right there, but we won't because that was a Daredevil comment and there are, I don't believe there's not gonna be another one here save your game. Yes, I would like to. And I don't believe there's gonna be another one here in the kitchen for us to get. Is it there? Nope, there's not. So, let's head right out here, where we have a Hungry Luma, who wants 600, so let's fit her up. Hey you, you got any tasty starbits? Yes I do, I have about 1,200 of them. Almost at 12,000. Anyway. And there you go. So, um, yeah, I mean, I sailed at 2.30, woke up like two hours later at 5 o'clock, finished writing the paper. Uh, well, not finished writing, but I finished writing part of the paper. And I, and like, this is Friday, it was due on, it was due a long on Friday, last Friday. And uh, once I got home, I worked on it till 8 o'clock, where I barely got it sent off in time. Or at least I hope I did, I believe I did. Strip Drop Galaxy, Giant Eel Outbreak. Which, this is actually a pretty easy 
and quick one with level wood subset, which I'm happy about. And a really pretty world with that. Very pretty. Um, but what else should I talk about? But now that I finished that paper, a uh, three-day weekend right after that is really convenient because I've really been meaning to just kind of relax yes. a little bit. And I've been able to do that today, and a little bit the past two days. It's been kind of nice. Kind of glad. Also, if you come over here and you talk to the Emperor Penguin, as I like to call him, ever since those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. Okay, well, I guess we better take those out for you because, you know, we're a plumber, and Italian plumbers are the only things that can, that can get things done in the universe, apparently. Um, anyway, now that I'm done saying that, because that was actually kind of a weird thing for me to say, um, it's been a three-day weekend. It's been really nice, and I miss that eel. Uh, also, another thing, if it's not self-explanatory, you're supposed to hit these eels with um, chills. And there are red chills around, and obviously, if any, if any of you, and I can almost guarantee you that you have played Mario Kart, uh, the red chills will home in on enemies while the green shells won't, and you just have to rely purely on aim for those. There you go, I'm glad I was able to get another coin right there. And actually, I died on this mission in my failed attempt by this recording because I wasn't really paying attention to which I'm going to try to do a better job of this time around. Uh, so what else should I talk about? I actually have a list to my left of things I can talk about in case I don't, like, in case I commentary doesn't come natural. Because, um, that's the thing about it is, uh, I've talked about this many times before, but, um, for those of you who've never recorded a Let's Play video, trust me, like, sometimes it's just commentary does not flow, and you have to kind of improvise for a little bit. Um, okay, so where's Seal? What else should I talk about? Uh, well, school in general has really kind of been a pain within itself. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to Christmas break. I've had actually had a lot of breaks recently. Like, not like, you know, full breaks. I mean, like, rather holidays. Um, I had a late start day last week. I got uh, out of school like an hour early. I didn't really get out of school, but we had a pep rally. And because of that, I got out of class an hour early. I don't know why they didn't come in on that deal over there, but whatever. Uh, so, I mean, it, last week was supposed to be an easy week, but the fact that I had... Also, I had, an, I had a math project that was due last week as well. But the fact that I had a math project and a um, paper due did not make it that easy of a week at all. Well, that easy of a week at all. Um, it was really stressful, so I'm glad to have a three-day weekend. And, uh, I didn't know that hurt you. Okay, my bad. Um, and I'm actually have more, even more holidays coming up uh, next week. It's really stupid how they do the like, of teacher work days in my school, or rather my school district, because we have teacher work days once every three months, but they're two weeks apart. So, like, we'll have one this week. We had one today. We'll have another one in two weeks, and then we won't have another one for, like, another three months or so. It's really stupid how they do it, but whatever. I guess I'm not really complaining. I mean, it's fine, because I'm going to get another day off from school here in a couple of weeks, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I believe there's something else even before that. Uh, they're doing voting. Uh, like, they, like my, my high school, they do voting. Like, oh, God. Oh, there you go. Finally got it. Uh, they set it up as a place to vote. I don't really know what's being voted for. I believe stuff like Senator and something else are going to be voted for here soon enough in my state. Um, and we get the day off from school because they're like in the gym and they capture like the set, like set up like voting booths and stuff. So we get the day off. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. You got a star. So I guess the government is good for something, getting us out of school, and I'm joking. Anyway, with that, I guess Rosalind has something to tell us, since she, you know, deterred, or, yeah, deterred our route back to the kitchen, and she wants to talk to us, or rather, actually, I don't think she's gonna talk to us. Nope, she's not going to. Uh, but there is one thing, after that, we do not have a letter, okay. In my last recording, I, I got a letter from Princess Peach right after I completed that level, but apparently Toad or Princess isn't feeling generous right now. Okay, never mind, but uh, now that we're done with that, uh, that's really all we can do in the kitchen for now. We should head over to our... Well, now we should head over to our next area that we opened, the bedroom. And we're not going to get too much done in the bedroom quite yet. Um, oh god, that sounds kind of weird. Anyway, enemy base has been spotted. We're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? Uh, we're only gonna kind of brush the surface of the bedroom and, um, I guess the Garden Galaxy, which actually, 
uh, for any of you, for any Nintendo fan, I'm pretty sure they've heard of this theme. This theme is very, very popular. It's been remixed a lot on the internet a lot, which there's some really good remixes of this out there. Got Sea Garden Galaxy, Bunnies in the Wind. And this is also my favorite theme of this game, or one of my favorite themes of this game. It's definitely high up there, so I'm going to be quiet for like the first 30 seconds, or like for the first like, like chorus of the song. So uh, you guys can listen to its beauty and how pretty it is. Yes! Alright, okay, I've, uh, not procrastinated, but well, I guess so, on commentating, because I have nothing to talk about, really, uh, enough, and I've let you guys listen to that, but yeah, it's a really, really pretty theme, I like it a lot, uh, I really love this game's soundtrack, as I believe I've said many times before, I just really like the kind of loose, like, orchard style that they went for, um, they have a little bit of, no, actually, I take that back, there wasn't, like, too much, or, like, too many orchard things, if not any, it's Mario Sunshine, so, I mean, I was really glad he's, I'm, honestly, I'm kind of a fan of classical music and just, like, trains in general, I actually play violin at, um, at my school, so, I mean, you know, I'm a fan of this kind of stuff, I'm kind of glad that they took this new direction, uh, in, like, their soundtrack style, you know, I feel like it fits this game really well, too, because for some reason when I think of, like, music, like, orchard music, I think of space, I don't know why, and this, and yes, I did, feel like this before Galaxy came out. It just has kind of like a spacey theme to it, I guess, or spacey feel to it. Oh, spacey isn't even a word. Anyway, let's take care of you. Also, if you guys remember at the very beginning of the Sesame Play, we had to catch those two bunnies. Rather, those three bunnies. Well, now we're only going to catch one, but this guy's a lot harder. This guy's a few more tricks up his sleeve than the other three had. Anyway, think you can catch me, boying, boyong, boyong, boyong. Actually, I think that's what he said. Uh, yeah, he can go through bushes, he can do things like that. He can cut shortcuts and just make it harder for you to catch him in general. But our secret weapon are our star bits. Um, what you're gonna want to do is if you get a chance to get an aim on him and not fall off like that, get an aim on him and shoot him with a star bit, but he, right now he's gonna go through this part right here, which you would think that this right here, you would, um, you would, it would, like, you would, like, float to the center of the planet's gravity, but for some reason that's not the case, I don't know why it isn't, but I guess really, they, were, they, they didn't apply too much logic to these games, because if they did, the gravity levels would not be on the same on each planet, which, actually, I mean, I know it takes a lot of work and effort, too, but if they took the time and effort, there you go, shoot him with a star bit and slow him down, if they, if they took the time and effort, to, like, change the gravity levels on planets. I feel like that'd be a really interesting mechanic, but I know that takes a lot of work to do. Also, if you look in his hand, he has a star, and it's actually kind of, mini like, miniaturized, which I don't know why it is, but I think it looks kind of cool. Anyway. Okay, okay, you got me. Here, take this boy yo boy yo boy boy you you boy you boy you God, I can't even pronounce it. Anyway. Don't expect to catch me so easily next time. Okay, I believe that's what you said last time, but either way, there we go. Final star for this episode. But yeah, sorry the commentary wasn't that great in this episode. It was a lot better than my failed attempt. I might add. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of really felt like I needed to record today, but probably shouldn't have. But either way, uh, I'm happy. I'm kind of happy with how this episode went. I'm happy with how the gameplay went. Uh, super game. I would like to, and I'm glad I was able to record today. Anyway, next time let's play some more Galaxy, we will head farther into Gussie Garden, uh, get two more stars done there, and probably head over to Freeze Flame Galaxy, Freeze Flame, which is actually one of my favorites. So, uh, see you guys next time.